Hello everybody, welcome to Joyce Daughter of God on YouTube. My name is Amy and today it is July 18th, 2023. And today's daily scripture readings are found in Romans chapter 6 verses 15 through 23 and James chapter 4 verse 10. But I will be reading James chapter 4 verses 7 through 10 and I'll go back and just reiterate verse 10. Seeing how that is the daily scripture for the day. And as always, we are getting started with the index scripture first. So Romans chapter 6 starting at verse 15 and the word says... What then? Shall we sin because we are not under law but under grace? Certainly not. Do you not know that to whom you present yourself slaves to obey, you are that one's slaves whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness? But God be thanked that though you were slaves of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine to which you were delivered. And having been set free from sin, you became slaves of righteousness. I speak in human terms because of the weakness of your flesh. For just as you presented your members as slaves of uncleanness and of lawlessness, leading to more lawlessness, so now present your members as slaves of righteousness for holiness. For when you were slaves of sin, you were free in regard to righteousness. What fruit did you have then in the things of which you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now, having been set free from sin, and having become slaves of God, you have your fruit to holiness, and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And on the index card, I just have verses 16 and 17 reiterated. Do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obey, you are that one's slaves whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness? But God be thanked that though you were slaves of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine to which you were delivered. Amen. Allow us to no longer be slaves to sin. Allow us to walk in the freedom that we have where we were set free from that bondage. And just be slaves to God where he is our master, our savior, our Lord. And to come under his direction and his guidance. And his will. Because he knows what is best for us. More than what we ever could. Alright, so now let us turn over to... James chapter 4 starting at verse 7 and I'll go down to verse 10 and reiterate verse 10 because James chapter 4 verse 10 is the actual daily scripture therefore submit to God resist the devil and he will flee from you draw near to God and he will draw near to you Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up. Again, verse 10. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up. It is God who shall be lifting us up. As we humble ourselves before him. Allow us to remember to stay humble. No matter how high we are taken. No matter the great things that we are doing. Or say if God has given us such a great platform. And we have become so popular in the world standard. Allow us to always stay humble. Not only before the Lord but before the people as well. And so that way it is always him who is lifting us up and not us ourselves or we're being lifted up by people, but we need to be lifted up by God. All right. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night whenever you come across this video. God bless each and every one of you all. Take care. Bye.